Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and people from the interwebs. I'm your host this... Oh, it's still morning. This morning, DJ Ignite. I'm not really a DJ, and, uh, well, neither are you, quite frankly. This is episode 2.1 of my... of FLST, or Fruity Loop Studio Tutorial. Yes, I do realise that sounds like a drug. Uh, we're going to be making some noise in this series, series 2. Uh, we're also going to identify some basic VSTs or plugins and explain how editing or editing and sampler properties, how to find them, how to use them, how to make some noise with and without a MIDI controller using the MIDI keyboard feature and assigning uh, instruments and plugins to channels. So, let's get that started. Um, basic editing and sampler properties. Well, all these instruments here like your kick, these are all called samples and in the library here, each of these little kick uh, drum sounds I'll turn that down just a little bit so you can still hear me yabbering these are all called samples because they're pre-recorded sounds or they're pre-generated making um, whatever what have you and they've recorded it and put it into a pack called a sample pack which means you can use these sounds and you can do some you can actually do quite a bit of uh, editing with each recording. But yes, it is a recording of sorts, so it's called a sample. And a plugin generates a sound for you. And if you recorded a plugin sounds and used it, then that would then be called a sample. A bit like the samples of like perfumes or foods or something, if you go to like a shop, a shopping mall and they have little samples. So it's very much like that. So each of these are called samples. We've got a kick, a clap, a hat, a snare. If we click on that, we can get into the sample properties or channel settings as it's called up here for some reason. Um, we have the pan of it, which is that, the volume, which is that, the pitch, how much you change the pitch, and it snaps right in the middle. You can also see the value at the top there. And we can also see which channel it is assigned to. I just opened this up by pressing F9 on my keyboard, which is the shortcut for the mixer. There you go, mixer, and F9 is the shortcut, which it shows there. So, for some reason, it's called FX. but And at the top, it's called Target Mixer Tracks. <laughs> they keep renaming things, insert or FX or whatever, but insert 1 or FX 1 is insert 1 or channel 1. If I change it to number two, it'll then select it. See how it highlights it for me? There you go. Simple. Then you've got some tick and create. So if you limit it to just one, it's going to sound the same. Amazing. But if you have something that generates many voices, like say an orchestra, you can limit it to only have, say, one or two or three voices to save your sound card or create a, a different effect, if that's what you're looking for. And function properties, arpeggiation, echo, reverberation, uh, some more shit which I don't really understand or care about. So that's your sample properties and everything has sample properties. Everything. Well, every sample does anyways. If you want to... Uh, if you want to add in a VST plugin... Oh, why did I just do that? I should have looked at what I was selecting. I want the core player. I want Citrus. See how it's with the rest of the samples, it's a different colour, but you go into it and you have miscellaneous and function and then a plugin which just shows you the actual VSD plugin itself. Amazing, I'll get rid of that just to not confuse you. How to make noise with and or without a MIDI controller. So I'm going to insert a plugin called FL Keys. It's a very basic keyboard, sounds like shit, and I don't recommend you use it in a song that you actually want to make. But uh to insert an instrument or actually let me just show you how to insert some sounds from over here click and drag it's as simple as click and drag and they all have the same properties as well so it's very very simple I'll also show you what this cut and cut by is quickly if I have I'm going to this little hi-hat and I'm going to have it start at the beginning of every beat. And this ride will come in in between each beat. 
Amazing. But I want that ride to not just keep playing and trail off slowly. I want it to stop when the next one plays. So you go on a misc and you go cut by one at the end and hats cut by one at the beginning. Oh yeah. So as simple as that. That's So what I've done here is I've made the hats cut this by one and when it plays. So this will keep playing its sound until the controller now and play a basic C chord. Play it with octaves. As you can see there's a note even lower but you can't see on this keyboard here but I am playing it. I can even go an octave lower. And maybe even lower. Oh, one more. Ha ha! Three, four, five octaves below middle C. That's pretty impressive. So that was using my MIDI controller. Now if I press, if I press, I don't know, B, oh, that's not going to work. Actually, yes it will. If I open up this playlist, see how I'm selecting a whole bunch of stuff and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut to go to the cut tool. Now I'm going to go back to the paintbrush. So I'm using keyboard shortcuts, which you can hear me pressing on the keys here, to cycle between these two different tools. Now if I select this, which is typing keyboard to piano keyboard, like that, that's selected. Now if I press C to go back to the cutting tool, oh, oh no, what about, oh no, all my keyboard shortcuts don't work anymore. That's because it's using your computer's keyboard as a piano keyboard. So you also have sharps, but it's very hard to do chords. But you can do it, so you don't need super duper equipment to achieve the same thing, although it helps. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial 2.1. Um, we're going in 2.2. We're going to do a bit of basic recording. I'm going to show you how to quantize your notes so they stay in time, uh, altering each note's properties and placing the loops into the playlist and starting to create a song. We might even actually do this whole creating a song as well if we have the time, because I'm limiting each uh, episode to 15 minutes. But with only two minutes, two and a half minutes left, I'm not going to be able to get much into these, so I'm going to save it for the next one. So thanks for watching episode 2.1, I'll see you again in 2.2. Farewell for now, young ones, and thank you.